date the rate, marry the house. Probably one of the most oversaid cliches in real estate. We're gonna talk about what does it exactly mean on this episode of Ryan and Real Estate. All right, welcome back. Hey guys, thanks again for joining with us. It's always a pleasure. Hopefully we are bringing value to you in any way we can continue to do so. Please let us know. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscription button. Also ring that bell, click the bell so that you therefore get more of these notifications when we are putting out content for you. And this isn't the only thing we put out, by the way. We've got some funny stuff, some listings. Check out that stuff as well. Uh, but anything we can do, we'd love to help you anyway. All right, so let's talk about this cliche, the date the rate, marry the house. It really is one of the most overdone and maybe a little bit misleading, but what I thought, because it's so out there, let me break it down for you. Picture this, so dating is all about finding the right match. It's that spark, the potential for a long lasting relationship. House hunting isn't so different. You're looking for that initial attraction, those features that make your heart skip a beat. It's all about compatibility, whether it's the granite countertops or the charming backyard patio, or what layout is best that fits your family. Now, the rate part comes into it, into here. So, hold on to your hats. Rate comes, you spotted the one that makes your heart race, but you get to know each other, and the more you get to know each other, the more you find some faults. You've seen his apartment now, and he leaves his stuff everywhere, and she chews really loud when she eats, uh, so relationships are obviously not perfect, nor is a house, but you want to commit. But you want to commit with interest rates the way they are now. It just feels like she's chewing loudly at dinner and his socks really stink. So here, what should you do? Here's my advice. Should you marry every person? Should you date every person? No. But here's what I'd continue to do. Uh, you, should ignore, you shouldn't just ignore all the flaws in your potential partner. Um, but you do need to realize that no one is perfect and you may never find the perfect home and the rates may never be exactly what you want them to be. However, if you have found a great home and it stands out above the rest, well, now it's your choice to commit or not. Rates will vary and get better and sometimes get worse, but as long as you can afford it, do you think it's the right home for you? At some point, you just have to commit. And if you wanna get married, <laughs> or buy a house. And, and that's just some free relationship advice from me to you. But bottom line is, date the rate. Really what that means is rates are going to change and you, they're not gonna be perfect and you can't pick a house because of a rate. But marry the house is finding that perfect home, realizing it's not gonna be absolutely perfect, but it's going to have about everything you want. You're gonna have to deal with some flaws at the end of the day, you're glad you get to come home to that house. There you go. That's my info to help you understand the date, the rate, marry the house. Hopefully that was helpful. Again, check out some of our other videos if you have not, and we'll see you next time on Ryan Real Estate.